Welcome to Automotive One, your automotive channel number one. 2018 Mercedes AMG GLS 63, you'll like it when it's furious. When you have six figures to drop on an extravagant thing, it can be hard to pick decisively which indulgence you'd most get a kick out of the chance to lay the cash down for. A little plot of land in the wild, or maybe a noodleized yacht? Enable us to propose rather Mercedes AMG's lumbering GLS 63, a SUV with seats for 7 and a 577 horsepower twin turbocharged V8 to pursue away the Sunday scaries. Truly, it looks precisely like the 10 best trucks and SUVs winning Mercedes Benz GLS class on which it is based. However, one step on the quickening agent will drive that other SUV from your psyche. The GLS 63's execution comes without forfeit, its lodge is fixed in cowhide and furnished with courtesies running from rubbing front seats to a discretionary back stimulation framework. It's the ideal chariot for transforming day-by-day -day errands into moonlight trips. What's new for 2018? AMG's enormous savage is unaltered for 2018. What was new for 2017? Mercedes renamed the GLS class for 2017, it was beforehand called the GL class, to better mirror the naming traditions of its vehicle lineup. Alongside the name change came some outside corrections, including an augmented chrome grille, new LED taillights, and an overhauled race guard. The GLS 63's 5.5-liter twin-turbo V8 powertrain was a remnant from the GL 63 yet was refreshed to include 27 coal for a sum of 577. Inside, Benz's refreshed command framework included a touchpad as another option to the rotational handle. Different corrections included new encompassing lighting and trim hues, a three-talk directing wheel, and an accessible design on the calfskin inside. Trims and options we choose. As indisputably the highest point of the line GLS, the 63 comes standard with about each choice that Mercedes offers in its huge SUV. None of the accessible additional items are urgent. Yet some of them are so reasonable, with respect to the $126,295 base cost, in any case, that we'd experience serious difficulty saying no. The GLS 63's vigorous offering of standard highlights incorporates Adaptive air suspension with selectable drive modes Heated, ventilated, and rubbing driver and front traveler seats Panoramic sunroof The rundown of choices is moderately short yet we'd be enticed to include red brake calipers, particularly since there ain't no take in a toll alternative, the $400 control work simple section framework for the second push seats, and the $300 AMG night bundle, which adds gleam dark trim to the grille, window encompasses, rooftop rails, and fumes funnels. Those additional items would bring the aggregate cost of our GLS 63 to $126,995. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel, thank you.